Welcome to Unit 5. Unit 5 deals with formatting output. So far, we have used the simple print statement and we could print different variables, different data types using print. There is a drawback. If you would like to beautify your print output, this is not possible so far. So we need to go a little bit more into details and we show first there is two parameters, zap for separation and end for end, which have a default value in print but could be changed. Then we go to what is called an F string, a formatted string. Within this F string, it is more easy to enter a mix of constants like a text and the content of variables. And using these F strings, you can align these uh, outputs, for example, the numbers, even if they have different number of digits, for example. It's showtime. Let's jump into our notebook. So, what you have seen so far is a print. And you can, for example, see in our first cell, we have two variables, x and y. We have uh, a simple output and you can see, especially in the last one, that we can construct um, an output which consists of several parameters, the x, a string, a y, and so on and so on. So everything looks quite fine. However, it is really cumbersome and error-prone to create outputs like this. And it has its limitations. So first, um, to change this situation a little bit, we introduce these two parameters, sep for separation and end for end, um, which are have default values within print. So the default values for separation is a blank, and the default value for end is a line break. You can see this. Separate, sep is actually what is printed between these things in here. So, for example, if we have x and times, and x is equal to um, 10, then you see there is a space in between. And that's actually what the separator is defining. And the default value is actually a space. And then you see there are three prints. And each print is printed in a new line. So there is a line break at the end. And that's actually what is defined by the parameter end, which has a default value line break. But you can override them. Yeah? So if you say, for example, we would like to print out an IP address, yeah? consisting of 192.168.11, and we do not want to have a blank, a space in between, but we would like to have a separator, this dot, yeah, then you can do so. And accordingly, you can simply delete it by assigning an empty value, an empty string to sep. So let's run these two. You see first, you get this 192.168.1.1. And in the second one, you even if you have three different constants A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, H, uh, I, all these are written in one line, in one row, without a um, delimiter, without a, without a separation um, of a blank. Same could we do with the end. Then the line break would be separated by the value you hand in, in here. Let's have a look on another way to format the print output. What you can see here is not a string, but a so-called F string or formatted string literal. Take a look at the documentation behind this link. So this F looks a little bit strange when you look at it as it's the first time, but it simply denotes we have a formatted string in here. Within these formatted strings, you can add variables or even functions. And the the value of the variable or the return value of the function is then um, printed out instead of these curly brackets and this x in between. Yeah, so if we have still 
our values x and y defined in our first cell, x equal to 10, y um, equal to 20, we can simply um, write in here f string and then in curly brackets x times in curly brackets y is um, curly brackets x times y. So let's run it. Yeah, 10 times 20 is 200. It's actually a little bit e more easy to write print statements like that. And you can even put a function in here. Yeah, so this function is then called and the returning value is entered into these curly brackets and printed out as part of the f-string. So let's do it. Why did you enter um, 100? Yeah. Why did you enter 100 into this program? So you see this function is executed, the return value is part of these uh, curly brackets and will be printed out as part of the formatted string, f, as part of the f-string. Now let's have a look with what we have just seen. You can enter this multiplication tablet. So what we do need here is two for, string, two for loops and uh, we have to modify these print statements. So what we have done in the past is for x in range 1, 11. So the calculation is quite easy for y in range 1, 11. And then we print out x times y. What happens now is that the complete table is printed just one number below each other. That's not what we were looking for. What we can do so, we now say, um, we say we do not want to end with a line break. We would like to have it in one line. So what we say here is and equals to nothing. Yeah. So and we do it right now. Then you can see it's not looking good, but it's in one line. So what we would like to have, have actually is at least one space between the numbers, the calculations we have done. And here the F strings are predefined, make life easy. We use our curly bracket. Yeah, we close our curly bracket and we have to enter our space in here. So now we have it all in uh, one line, but the single numbers are separated. And to have it now in uh, just lines of 10 numbers, then we have at the end of the, or as part of the outer for loop, enter a print with nothing in. So what you can see now is that we come a little bit closer to our multiplication panel. It's still not perfect, the numbers are not aligned, but that's what we are tackling right in the next part. You can use alignment using formatted strings. Again, let's have a look at our data. We have a list of tuples and these tuples are some kind of text, a number, how often this product is actually chosen and um, the, the price per product. Yeah, and you see we have 12 chairs and uh, each chair is 39.59 euros. Now we would list this and we would like to calculate these totals. Yeah, so what you can see here is now um, this kind of, of uh, formatted string with product numbers and so on and so on. And what we have added right in these um, curly brackets behind this variable product uh, with the index zero after a colon is 15s, which means s stands for a string, which means it is aligned to the left. And we will always use 15 spaces. So if you do not have 15 spaces, these um, are filled up with empty spaces. The same with 3D. 
D stands for digit, yeah? and we always use three numbers, three digits. And finally, we have this F, which stands for float. And we will have six numbers, six, six digits in total, and the, there will be two digits behind the decimal point. So let's look. You see, now it's well formatted. Yeah, we see we have our product, dining table, account of three, a price of 190.90, and a total, which you can find in the very end, um, product one times product with the index two, and again, 6.2 as a formatted file. It is aligned um, to the decimal point. Yeah? So these F strings do, does, do not only give the possibility to enter in an easy way constants and mix up constants and normal text or variables and, 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 and text, it offers in addition, the possibility to align strings and uh, digits and float uh, digital numbers and floating point numbers to the left, to the right, or to the floating point. So now we can beautify our multiplication table here as well. So let's make a copy, put it in here, and what you would like to have is these uh, lines aligned. Yeah, so we see the biggest number, actually the 100, contains three digits. So we take these three yeah, and we get it like that. Yeah. If you would like, take another number, let's take five, get the same result, but a little bit more widespread. So here you can see as well the uh, power of the F strings. So what are the key takeaways? If you're not happy with the normal print output, you can beautify it using these uh, parameters separation, SEP, or AND, and uh, change the output a little bit. And if you would like to have even more powerful beautification possibilities, then use the F string. First, it makes this combination of strings constant strings and variables a little bit more easy. You can even fill functions in there. And you can align these uh, output of variables, align it to the left, to the right. You can specify how many characters should be used.